there are two ways to add additional people to your Moodle site. By default, your Moodle is set to only be accessible to people that have registered for the course. However, you can check this by going into settings. You have the setting box on the side. Click users, enrollment methods. And here you'll be able to see which group was set for auto enrollment. So here's the two ways you can enroll somebody. Auto enrollment, manual enrollment, and we can also set up the self enrollment and anonymous access, but those are not used regularly at the University of Minnesota. So for UMN auto enrollment, click the two the figure of the two people on the side, and here you'll be able to see which students you are able to add or remove from your course that are linked to PeopleSoft courses. Each instructor will only be able to see the courses that they are set up to teach that semester. In my case as an instructional designer, I do not have any students and I cannot remove this group of students because they're not my students. However, the nice thing of using PeopleSoft as an instructor is that once you add the group of students that you need to add and update course enrollment, so make sure to add a group, check the section and the year and the term and the course number and the course title and then add them if they need to be or they need to have access to this course in particular. Once you add them, click update course enrollment. After doing that, this list will update. The, the good thing about this list is that it will show you that students that have registered are automatically enrolled and also the students who dropped the course have been removed from the site. It automatically removes students as they unenroll from your course. Next is manual enrollments. You can click manual enrollments um, let's go back to enroll methods okay so don't click in this manual enrollments actually because this is just for setting the settings for default manual enrollment and we we don't want to change the settings you could change them but it, it's not really needed for you to change the settings so go into enrollment methods and then click on the person with the plus sign and here you'll be able to search make a query to try to add somebody so in this case we're going to add our other staff account to this course here it is and then I can select how I want to add them in this case I want to add them as a designer and now they have access to this course that's all you have to do to give access to somebody to your course you can add as many as you want to I can add myself this is my student account I can add myself as a student if I wanted to and in this way you can add people to your course you can set a duration of their enrollment and you can decide when it when their enrollment when their access starts if it starts right now or even when the course started retroactively so uh, that's all you have to do to add students and people to your course to check that they have been enrolled properly go back to enrolled users here in the breadcrumbs and you'll be able to see the whole list of students most of the students in this course have been added by UMN out of enrollment they were added on Wednesday July 31st so I'm in September 10th like the student so they join the course today um, so this is the list of students for this course I uh, hope that was helpful. Thank you.